Hello, it's me again, and today we're analyzing a game, a very custom game that I played against my 10-year-old daughter, Rebecca, who is here with us in the studio. Say hi, Rebecca. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Rebecca chose the setup and got to move first. I guessed she would do one of these first four moves that the arrows are showing, but she did this. Can you tell me why you did that, Rebecca? Um, I guess I was uh, attacking the knight, but then when I made the move, I regretted it because I could have like killed the queen, or um, and your knight could have killed mine. Right. Okay. Well, I responded. I responded the way that I thought you would have played first, which is I just took out your queen, and you very smartly took back, yeah. and then I took your other queen, which you took back. <laughs> this also inadvertently saved you from. My next move, but I went over here instead. And then you took a pawn. Can you explain that? Uh, Knowing that it's guarded by two yeah. bishops and a knight? Um, I know that it was guarded, but at the time, I just, you know, I just saw my work and I was like, you know, hey, I should kill something. So. That was my thinking. You had three pieces right there guarding that rook. <laughs> okay, but I took back okay. with the bishop. Then you took here, which was probably just a normal trade. That's fine. Yep. Um, I took back. Then, okay, you finally took my rook. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, it's cool. Basically, what we're doing right here is getting rid of all the custom pieces you put out in front. And then we're going to play regular chess after that. Oh, uh, I wasn't planning on doing that, I guess. I was trying to plan doing, some, oh. doing something else. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I moved here because that is traditionally considered one of the weakest pieces on the board. One of the weakest squares because it's normally guarded only by the king. However, here it is guarded by your knight, so I just moved my rook as a waiting move. Um, yeah. Do you know why I did that? Wait, wait, go back. Wait, why you killed my knight? Why I went there and let you kill it. Um, because then your pawn could have. Because then your pawn could have killed it. Well, no, but why did I move it there so you could kill it and kill my pawn? Because right now, my pawns are doubled. Oh, oh that does make sense. This is an even trade. And now my pawns are not doubled anymore. They're back on their original files. That was my strategy there. Also, I thought you might be coming forward to attack my rook, but I knew that my knight could guard that spot. Oh, yeah. But instead, now that you did that, I can guard that spot here, and this is called a knight outpost. Okay. Okay? When you can get a knight in the opponent's territory with no more pawns, there's no more pawns that can come up and challenge it on either side. I see that. Yeah. So this is called a knight outpost. Now you still can challenge it with the bishop. Oh, that was weird. Wait, how many moves are in the game? You can still challenge it with the bishop. What? How many moves are in the game? Uh, like we'll find out. Oh, okay, then. Okay. Here, I'm looking at an undefended pawn with your king in the background, right here. Hmm. So, at this point, if I were you, I would have done something to guard that pawn. I don't know what you could have done. Maybe this. But you did that. So, I took the pawn and said, check. Okay, you blocked it with a minor piece, which is good. And the reason I didn't take back is because I wanted that piece to be pinned. And also, if I did, you could have just taken back here. Okay. So what I was doing was waiting for you to move that knight somewhere. Then I would attack that piece. Oh, okay. You came after my rook. I moved it up. Oh. Okay, now this is what I was waiting for. I didn't know you were going to go outside, but you moved your knight. Now there's nothing guarding this piece except the king and queen. And the king won't be able to retake because of the knight and the rook both heading there. So this is where I get to get your queen. So I take that. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, that was a mistake. Obviously, I remember you said it as soon as you did it. Oh, why did I do that? I was like, oh. Um... You thought you were coming after the night, but you forgot the night could come back at you. Oh, the night can. And once the night comes back at you, not only is it pointing at your queen, but you're in check. So that's what I did. Oh, and then at that point, the game was all just. Eh. Now it's just clean up. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I could have done more, and I thought about doing more, like trying to clean out your pieces, but instead I just decided to end it as quickly as I could. See here, this is a fork. I'm hitting your king and your rook, but I'm not concerned about your rook, because here I know you only have one legal move. There, right? Yeah. And then moving my rook down is made. So that's what happened. Okay, so did you learn anything from this experience? Um, yes. But, um, basically what I learned is I should be more careful when I play my moves. Well, yeah. I guess, yeah. Uh, because we weren't in any uh, time rush. It was a daily game that we played in about 10 minutes. Yeah, because I we think... We could have the... played in 15 minutes and you could have looked a little harder, especially... But the, the only ones you can like edit like this are like the one day or more, I think. Right here, I was trying to think of what you could have done instead of that move that you did, the knight. Um, instead of that, I don't know if you had a better move here, but, I, but even if you didn't move the knight, I was going to do that. Just so you know. Okay. Because then it would attack your queen and you would be in check. You wouldn't be able to take with your knight. Sorry about all those lines that keep showing up. But um, even, even if you hadn't moved your knight, even if you had done something else like capture this pawn or, uh, I don't know, come out here to go after my king or whatever, that was pretty sure nothing you could have done would have prevented that being my next move. Yeah. Except possibly, could you have legally castled here? I don't think you had moved your king yet. That's probably what you should have done. Yeah. Right here, probably what... Well, it says... Oh, no, you can't castle because you would be moving into check. So maybe just moving your king would have been the best move. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I'm not certain because I'm not an expert either. I just like... I'm just a few months ahead of you in learning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know you learn new All stories. right. Well, thank you, Rebecca, for joining me on this short video. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, you guys, my channel is Rebecca Plays. That's plays with a Z at the end. And the R is like capital, I guess. Yeah, I forgot. I guess. I don't know. And it has nothing to do with jazz. No, it doesn't. But since you're already watching this video, you could go, you know, search it. Search my channel and go find it. Yeah. Rebecca Plays. Thank you.